Oh, man. Well, it'd be like that. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugar. And tonight, I'm going to talk about uh, Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. You had the Miami Heat losing to Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers, 99-79. to um, It's now a 2-1 two, two, uh, to one series lead. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. may not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy, man. Also, you uh, Madden 22 player on Xbox One. I'm going to have my gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, well, I mean... <laughs> You can't sweep them all, basically. Um, you got to get a 76ers credit. They, they they were the most desperate team tonight. They were down two games to zero. Um, once I knew that Joel and B definitely was going to play, um, I knew it was it was going to be a difficult challenge because not only is obviously he's probably the MVP of the whole NBA this season. Um, not only are the uh, 76ers at home. But you had to know it was going to be an emotional boost, you know, for that team in general. And guys that were asked to do bigger roles are now going back into their normal roles. So when you combine all that together, you know, you have a type of performance like you have tonight. Um, And then B wasn't terrific. I think he had like 17 and 11. But um, for me, just his presence out there caused a lot of problems on both ends of the, of the, of the, um, of the court. Um, and for Bam, like, for example, Bam Adebayo struggled mightily this game. Bam probably had, like, six or eight points or something like that, um, which we know we got to get more out of him offensively. We know that his um, his forte is being an excellent elite defender, but we got to get more out of him on the offensive end. Um, speaking of offense, uh, you got to get a 76ers credit. Um, Matisse Thibel was all over the place out there tonight um, and guys like that. but. Um, we just played bad. We missed free throws early on. We missed open shots. Uh, we turned over the ball. Uh, we was held to 79 points. And you cannot win in the NBA playoffs scoring 79 points. You just can't. Um, I felt like defensively, you know, we let Danny Green get hot. And as for Heat fans, we know all too well what it's like to see Danny Green not missing threes. Um, Tyrese Maxey got it going in the fourth quarter. Harden kind of had it going in the first quarter or whatever. And then B was, you know, steady throughout. But um, I felt like we played well enough defensively to win this game. Um, you hold this 76ers team to 99 points each night. I like our chances to win. But um, we got to be much, much better on the offensive end, man. Um, you know, Kyle Lowry, his first game back, it was great to see him out there. He's the floor general. But I don't even know if Kyle Lowry scored a point tonight. <laughs> so, um, and I've already mentioned Bam with his his struggles on the offensive end. Um, Strews knocked down a couple of shots, but um, Hero didn't really. You know, he kind of had a little a little stretch there in the second quarter, but he wasn't terrific. The only guy who really really balled out for us tonight offensively was Jimmy Butler, who had I think like thirty three points. Um, but it's long series. Uh, Game four Sunday night, man, is going to be a huge game um, where it's either going to be tired, tired, or we're going to go back to Miami up 3-1 trying to close it out. But uh, give the 76ers credit. They did their thing tonight. Joel and B definitely gave them uh, not only a talented boost, but also an emotional boost also. Um, and they crowd, you know, it's a, it's a tough place to play, but uh, we got to gather, regroup, go back to the drawing board, um, run some more sets offensively. Maybe you get Duncan Robinson into the game to, uh, to knock down a couple of threes or so. Um, maybe you find more plays for Bam to get him comfortable on the offensive end early on in the matchup. Um, but whatever it is, you know, I'm sure Spo going to do the best he could do. And uh, we're going to be ready to play game four, man. But this series has definitely, definitely got, gotten interesting after tonight's result. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Miami Heat, NBA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go.